hey everybody, this is Rockin' Spirit Jen, and today we're going to be making my signature gigantic, beautiful heart bath bombs. And these bath bombs are going to last for a very long time in your bathtub experience, imparting wonderful fizzing action and bubbles. And basically, I have my dry ingredients, which is citric acid, Epsom salt, kaolin clay, a little bit of baking soda, rose quartz, pearl powder, beetroot powder, a little bit of pink mica, and a little bit of SLSA. And I'm going to be sifting that out to make sure that there are no large particles that you would not want to have in a perfect bath bomb. So just sift that out. Press that through. And then lastly, I have my Epsom salts that I put in my coffee grinder to get that nice and powdery. And then we're just gonna mix this very well. Get all that beautiful color. And bath bombs can be a little tricky to make because you have to make sure that you add your liquid ingredients very slowly as to not activate the baking soda and the citric acid. So that is the trick. So I have a beautiful pink color. I think it's nice. This is going to make about two really, really large bath bombs. Now I have my liquid ingredients, and this has basically got a little bit of rose quartz water. Just put about a teaspoon. Has great, beautiful minerals. It's been sitting in the sun and parting wonderful minerals. And to that, I have a little bit of sweet almond oil, some rose quartz oil. I have some rose essential oil, medieval essential oil. I have an anointing oil, two different kinds straight from Israel. So it's absolutely wonderful. A Little bit of polysorbate 80, and that'll help the fragrances to be suspended well. And now we're gonna start adding our liquid. And we're just gonna mix this up. It's got alcohol in it as well. No rushing through on this part. Oops, no making messes.
have a little bit of a wet sand feel to it. with our hands and you really just have to feel these through because you're looking for a consistency that will hold together and these are going to be hand formed and what you want to see is you want to be able to squeeze that and then drop it and have it stay in a form just like that. So now we are ready to mold. So what I've done is I lined my mold with some beautiful little rose petals. So we're just gonna pour that in. Press that down. And then I love to place that beautiful little heart right in the center so that when you are finished taking your bath, you will have a beautiful symbol of love to make a little collection for yourself as you use my bath bombs throughout the month. You'll have a beautiful collection of no time, beautiful hearts. So then basically, we'll do the same on this side. Let's put a little bit of rose petals in that side. And just keep that up like so. And we're gonna put these together. We're just gonna press them. really tightly. And we lift that off and we're going to put it in our area to dry right here. And we'll go ahead and we'll make another one. Okay. And let's do a beautiful Sandwich that right together. A nice packing on that. Don't want any, any cracks at all. And just bump. Like that. So just like that. Then, whatever leftovers you have, I always like to do a couple of different looks. So basically, we're going to scoop that in, this beautiful little moon press. corners in.
right in this little container. Press down. I'm going to release. And you have a beautiful, just absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely. a lot of love. Basically I'm going to cover these and I'm going to let them sit for two to three days in an airtight container and then I'm going to shrink wrap those up and I'll show you the finished product. And now for our second balm, Lavender Petal Bath Balms with beautiful lavender flowers. This is going to have a lavender essential oil and a amethyst water that I've activated in the sun to release the minerals and pearl powder is in this as well. So we're just going to start adding our liquid. So we'll slowly start adding the liquid and we'll mix this together until we get the consistency that we need to start forming the bath bombs. So we'll start mixing this together. Speed this up for time. Boy, my arm's getting tired. I wonder why. <laughs> oh, I never work so fast. We wouldn't want to bore you with regular speed. That's for sure. And because of the citric acid and the baking soda and all these powders, I wear a mask because I don't want to breathe some of those harsher um, powders in, like the citric acid. It could kind of burn your throat and lungs a little bit. We'll mix that in until we get that wonderful, kind of lightly wet sand consistency, and then we'll be able to form these molds. And I think I'm gonna try something a little different. I'm going to make a regular uh, bath bomb with the heart inside, and then I'm gonna make a half moon balm, and then I'll do a couple of the moon press balms. We have purple mica in here. It's a beautiful shade of lavender. When you take a bath with these balms, because of the baking soda and the citric acid, and the Epsom salts, it's just a divine experience. It relaxes the muscles, softens the skin, uh, takes aches and pains away. It's just wonderful. And the lavender is so soothing, especially before bed. And it's soothing for the skin and also the nervous system. So it's going to help you get a nice deep sleep. And it just feels luxurious, like you're in a spa. It's beautiful. And these bath bombs are going to be fizzing in the water for a good five minutes, maybe longer. So that's always fun to just watch that bath bomb roll around in the water and bubble up that water. Okay, it's just about the right consistency. It's gonna be perfect drop there, holds together nicely, and so this is gonna dry really well. Back to regular speed. Now we'll start loading up these beautiful balms. I put some lavender petals in the bottom of the balm. Balm mold, I should say. We'll put our beautiful stone heart in there. We'll just overfill this other half. And it's going to make a beautiful sphere. A loving bubble sphere. My daughter begged me to use one of my rose petal ones the other day, and she had such a wonderful bath. Her back was hurting her, and she was surprised when that little heart fell out. She didn't know. So it's proudly sitting on her dresser right now in her room. It's beautiful. Makes these extra special. They love your body, and then you remember about loving yourself when you see these beautiful hearts laying around and loving others. This one's got an onyx heart in it. Okay, now 
now we're going to sandwich those two sides together and pack them real tight. There's nothing like hand forming a bath bomb. And these are very heavy. They're going to probably be about six ounces. Press those petals into the other side. And there you go. We'll set it over here to dry. And we'll make our next one. This one is going to be just a half moon. So I'm just pressing that in nicely so that we get a good half moon here. Cover that heart up. We want to make sure to get a wonderful little heart in there too. And now we're going to press it using a disc just to make sure it's packed really nicely. There you go. Beautiful little half moon. Now we'll put the remainder in this beautiful moon press. Little lavender petals in the bottom. And we'll just pile this up on top. And I like to press halfway through just to make sure all the pockets are out and I get a really good tight packing and I just keep filling until I get it all the way to a solid pack all the way to the top. And these will be about three to four ounces in weight. Now we're just gonna press that out, give it a good shove and release. And this beautiful lavender moon press bath bomb. We've got enough for one more. Body care is such a delight to make. I have so much fun coming up with the ingredients just to be a little bit different, a little bit better than some of the other bath bombs out there that have a lot of bad ingredients that you wouldn't want to be soaking and drinking up into your skin. And that's why I put the hearts in my products because you know it's you're really loving your body with my um, body care line for sure. If I wouldn't soak in it, I wouldn't make others soak in it. That's kind of my motto. And press and release. And there's our second moon. Isn't that pretty? How gorgeous. Now I've got these all in an airtight container. I'm going to let them dry for two or three days. And I'll show you the finished product.